Our Father who loves us, who loves us so much that when this world was created, as the Apostle Paul says, that even before the beginning of time, Jesus Christ was going to lay down his life for us. The Lord, even in creating this world, you knew things would go haywire, you knew things would go wrong, and even yet still, you gave us free will. God, in so many ways, those that have gone on before us, even us ourselves, those that will come later, use that free will in so many bad ways. We draw a wedge between our relationship with you, our relationship with each other, and even with ourselves. And yet, God, you still love us. And loved us so much, Lord, that when the time was right, Jesus Christ was born into this world. Grew up and was established, of course, growing further and stronger as he prepared for his ministry. When the time was right, he not only was baptized and declared once again your son, but also, God, that he shared with us the keys to the kingdom, how you would have us live, and how, Lord, we can change and purify our hearts and our minds to live according to God's purpose. When the time was right, he gave himself up. He died on the cross for our sins. On that third day, he rose again, defeated death itself. The church was birthed through the gift of your Holy Spirit, which we have here today. God, none of these things we take for granted, but we are grateful to the very depths of our hearts and souls and minds to once again proclaim that we are your people saved by your grace. We are your people who you faithfully stood beside. We are your people who you constantly work through us to sanctify our hearts and our minds, Lord, that we could ever be more holy, be more like you, be more like Jesus each and every day. We thank you, Lord, that you never give up on us. You hold us strong. As we come to this moment here today to pray for our world and for people, Lord, we celebrate your work. For we know your hands are mighty. And we know your throne is open to us to come to you. So we come bearing these burdens to come. Lay them in your hands once again upon the only shoulders who are strong enough to hold them. And the hands that grip tight and never let go. God, as we're here, we pray for those who are burdened with many things, those that are sick, those that have lost loved ones, those that grieve here this day. We pray for those, Lord, who are lonely, those who need just a special touch of a friend, those who battle each and every day, waking up and finding purpose. We pray, God, for those who have bad news from doctors. We pray for those who just feel sick and, Lord, don't know how to feel better. God, we pray for those who go through many burdens of life, whether it be through losing life and home, whether it goes through losing relatives or being distant from them. We pray for them. God, this week we were moved to see our whole kind of nation come together and once again pray. Or as we saw a football player, Lord, who almost lost his life, have some miraculous things happen. God, as we just step back and look once again, even though in many ways on public television and things, God, we sometimes hide our faith in you. But when it comes down to it, Lord, we saw the soul of America praise. And so, God, we pray for our nation and our people to once again not be abashed or afraid, Lord, to proclaim your goodness. We pray, Lord, that we come to a place where we could not to hide our faith in the closet. But God, that it would be celebrated and that people would not take offense to your name. God, we pray for those who come here this morning to seek your special touch. May you be upon them, be upon their families, be upon those that they come and represent here today. Whatever it is that they pray for, Lord, may you be upon their hearts and give them the desires and their wishes that they would know, Lord, that you are the God for them. God, we pray for ourselves. Make us into your image. We surrender to you. God, we pray for our church. Give us wisdom, especially for this evening. Give us kindness of heart to still love no matter what happens, to cherish all those we've been in faith with. 
Finally, God, as we come to you this day, we pray the prayer that you taught your disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.